Buckeye season that didn't end in the Rose Bowl does end with a visit to the Rose Garden. Hello, welcome to the special edition of the Buckeye Insider. I'm Mark Kuntz as Ohio State national champions make the visit to Washington, D.C. It, it really tops off an incredible weekend for Ohio State. Began on Saturday with the spring game in front of a record crowd. Much more on that coming up later on in tonight's show with extended highlights, plenty of analysis and postgame reaction from that spring game. And then the Buckeyes picked up several verbal commitments from both the 2016 and 17 recruiting classes. Sunday it got even better as running back Ezekiel Elliott was named the Sullivan Award winner for the top amateur athlete in the entire nation, just the eighth football player to win that award in its 85 years of existence. And it was capped off with a visit to D.C. and a meeting with President Obama. You remember after the spring game, Cardell Jones, when asked about this trip to the White House, said it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But quickly added for Coach Urban Meyer, it's the third trip he has made, a fact that wasn't lost on Barack Obama. Uh, I've only done it twice. <laughs> and for the same team both times. Uh, this was a historic year in college football. Uh, the country got to enjoy its first ever college football playoffs. And I will say it, it was about time. Uh, I cannot claim full credit. <laughs> I will point out that I pushed for a playoff system in 2008. <laughs> I'd say I throw my weight around. Uh, political, uh, PolitiFact, which uh, keeps track of whether politicians keep their promises. This is a promise kept by me. Uh, so, uh, you're welcome, America. It was a great playoff. Um, it was an exciting season from start to finish, and to say that Ohio State's path to the title felt improbable at times uh, would be an understatement. Uh, at one point last year, the Buckeyes were ranked as low as 23rd in the nation, but they kept on battling back with the help of not one, not two, but three quarterbacks. At first, they lost Braxton Miller, a Heisman contender, before the season even started. Then JT Barrett, Big Ten quarterback of the year, steps in, has an extraordinary run, but then breaks his uh, ankle against a, a certain team up north. I guess I'm not allowed to. <laughs> I'm not allowed to. And then we learned uh, uh, that uh, Cardell Jones is not your average third string quarterback. <laughs> Anybody uh, with a nickname like 12 Gauge has to be taken seriously. <laughs> I, I told him that I could throw a football 75 yards also. But he didn't believe me. So he's, he clearly is a smart kid. Uh, but the Buckeyes hit their stride when it mattered most. Uh, pitched a 59-0 shutout in the Big Ten Championship, earning their way into the playoff spot. Beat top-ranked Alabama in the first round, then rolled up a decisive win against the Oregon Ducks for the national championship. At critical moments throughout the season, uh, we learned about the character of this football team. And we met the characters who made up the football team along the way. Uh, like uh, Joey Bosa, uh, Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. Joey, wait, wait, where, where's Joey? Right there. Consensus All-American, led the conference in sacks in 2014, including the one that ended the double overtime game against Penn State. Followed each one with his signature celebration, uh, a shrug. <laughs> I use that move sometimes. Uh, uh, now, Joey's hair may be short now, uh, and he, he looks good. I, I actually like it shorter. That's good for you. See, I appreciate that. <laughs> But he assures us that the shrug will be back next year. Uh, wide, receiving, uh, wide receiver Evan Spencer was named team MVP in 2014 for his selfless play, great blocking, and even a perfectly thrown touchdown pass to Michael Thomas in the Sugar Bowl. Evan, go ahead and wave.
And in addition to rushing for over 1,800 yards behind uh, an extraordinary offensive line, as good as we've seen in a very long time, uh, and earning the championship game MVP, uh, Ezekiel Elliott made the NCAA fashion police take a close look at their midriff policies. <laughs> Where's Zeke? Thanks for tucking in your shirt today. <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> he said I needed to get the rule changed. You see that? <laughs> yeah, you know. Look, I already got the playoff. All right, now I got, <laughs> I got other stuff to do now. Uh, but in, in all seriousness, this was a team of true character, of true resilience. Uh, as I said to him when I had a chance to shake the hands of uh, all the players, you know, everybody's going to go through ups and downs in life and how folks handle it, um, how the quarterbacks on this team supported each other. Uh, you know, that's what every organization wants to see, is people stepping up for each other. Uh, and not only did they do it on the field, uh, they made Ohio proud off the field. Uh, each year, the Buckeyes pay forward their good fortune with more than 1,000 hours of community service and charitable efforts in central Ohio, visiting young patients in hospitals, helping second graders improve their reading, uh, building playgrounds, supporting the Special Olympics, uh, stocking shelves for the Mid-Ohio Food Bank. Uh, so, uh, you know, the love between this team and their uh, community is mutual. Uh, I will say, when you get 100,000 fans to show up to a practice, <laughs> I think it's fair to say that uh, y your fans are a little crazy. <laughs> but obviously, it's working for them, and it's working for this extraordinary team. Uh, so Coach Meyer, uh, congratulations to you and the Un Ohio State University for your national championship. Good luck this season coming up. And it wasn't just the football team who made the trip, some 100 players on the trip, as well as coaches, their wives, including Tom Herman, last year's offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach, now the head coach of the University of Houston. Coaches' wives made the journey along with Gene Smith. So, yes, you can insert your obligatory Frank Capra. Mr. Smith goes to Washington reference right here. And the university president, Dr. Michael Drake, were also on board. But it wasn't just a visit to the White House. Earlier in the day, Ohio State went to the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, where they were treated to a discussion of Martin Luther King, including the I Have a Dream speech at the Lincoln Monument by Leonard Haynes, a U.S. Department of Education senior official and an Ohio State alum who, like Woody Hayes years ago, made sure Ohio State got a little bit of the history lesson while they were here in Washington, D.C. Just to, just to be able, just, just to see that memorial, it was, uh, it was a great honor, just, you know, because uh, I, I haven't seen that. I've been up here a million times because I'm only from two hours down the road. It was just, uh, just the whole spill about the, uh, just about the, the, the previous history about it, it was just it was great. Well, I, I'd like to thank uh, uh, President uh, Obama and his staff. That was we. This is our third time, the third time that I've been a part of it. And I can't remember um, as genuine, as open, as relaxed as it was. He came in and spent time. The first time I think that's happened. Just the president and our team, and uh, uh, very uh, appreciative. Glad he's a sports fan. Glad he's. Uh, he made the point several times, but it's true that he. Uh, jumped right in the middle of a conversation about a college football playoff that uh, we obviously benefit. So it was a great day. You know, not every day you get to see the President of the United States. So, uh, let alone shake his hand. Yeah, let alone shake his hand and, you know, you know, listen to him talk about uh, you and your teammates. You know, it's, it's something special. So uh, it, was a, it was a fun day. I think we were all kind of, we, we were all thinking something profound to say when he came <laughs> up and came up and shook our hands and we were all like, uh, 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 I, Mr. President. <laughs> so, um, uh, I don't know, it was a good experience. and. Uh, Really, I mean, I, we won't forget it for the world. Following the trip to White House, Ohio State had one more visit to make on their Capitol trip as they went to the Capitol. Had a tour of the Capitol facility with Senators Rob Portman and Sherrod Brown and other members of the Ohio Congressional Delegation. Of course, much more on this Washington, D.C. trip can be found online on our YouTube channel, WOSN Sports. Check out the Buckeye Insider playlist. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Mike Miller will join me and we'll take a look back at the spring game in front of 99,000 and change.